I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We'll try to understand what is a position vector with the help of this particular video. Now we are taking an example to really understand the topic on position vectors. We are given that the position vector P is 2i plus 3j and the position vector Q is 5i minus 7j. We need to find the vector PQ. Part B is the point R lies on PQ such that PR is 2 fifth of PQ. Find position vector R. Right? So that's the question for you. Now let's first understand position vectors. Now whenever we say position vector it means that the position is fixed they are fixed position they are not free vectors do you understand so normally if I see a vector I could represent that vector anywhere right but when I say a position vector I'm saying that this position is fixed. Now fixed with respect to what? That is what we'll understand, right? So, so let me just uh, make a coordinate plane here. We'll represent the vectors on this coordinate plane. It is fixed about the origin. That is the point, correct? Now, normally, since origin is represented by letter O, we could also write the vector, position vector P as OP. So I'll write OP here, right? So OP is the vector which is equal to 2i plus 3j. Okay. So that means we could represent it like this. 2 along this direction and 3, 1, 2, 3. There you go. So that becomes the vector P or OP does make sense to you. So whenever you fix the tail, so tail at origin, perfect. Now that is very important to remember. So for a position vector, it is fixed and the tail is at origin. So that is our vector P. Now let's show where is the vector Q, which is 5i minus 7j. So again, tail is fixed here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 5, minus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So that becomes minus 7, right? So tail at the origin and head right there represents the vector q. Perfect. So that becomes the vector q for us. Now, what is, we need to find pq, right? So what is pq? Well, p to q, let me draw it, with connecting p and q. So we can just connect P and Q, and that is the vector PQ. Perfect. So this is vector PQ for us. So you can see from our diagram itself that PQ is OQ minus OP, right? So that is how we get P to Q. So PQ is vector OQ minus OP. Right? So in our case, it is, we could write this in the form of a column also, right? So it is 2 minus 5, 3 minus minus 7, which is 3 plus 7, right? So which is equal to minus 3, 10. So that becomes the the vector p to q correct sorry it should be uh, oq uh, i we wrote in the reverse way sorry for that 
Okay, so let's let's redo this. Let's redo this. We'll do it here. So the vector p to q is q minus p, right? So it is equal to, let me write like this, 5i minus 7j take away 2i plus 3j. That is better. So that gives you 5 minus 2 is 3 and minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10j. So that's your vector PQ. Is that clear to you? So that is how we find the vector PQ. Now we are given that the point R lies on PQ such that P to R is 2 fifth of PQ. Find the position vector R. Right? So, so that's the equation. So point R lies on PQ. 2 fifth means we divide this into 5 equal parts and let's say let's say somewhere we are not sure 2 fifth may be somewhere here right maybe this is point R for us we will work it out okay so that divides in the ratio of it is when you divide equal in 5 equal parts this is 2 parts right. that is the point R we need to find the position vector R how do we get it now? Okay, so we can say from here PR because it is in the same direction is equal to two fifth of PQ, right? So PQ is 3i minus 10j, right? So it is 3i minus 10j, correct? So you could write this as such and so we get 2 times 3 is 6 so 6 over 5 i minus 20 divided by 5 is 4 so we get 4 j correct so so that becomes the the, uh, the vector p to r right so that is our vector p to r. Now what are we supposed to find? We are supposed to find o to r. Now when we say find position vector r, then what is the position vector r? So we know what p r is, right? So what is o r? O r is the position vector, right? So o r, o to r will be o p plus p r. Is that clear to you, right? Is OP plus PR. So let's do this math now. So O to P is given to us as 2i plus 3j. Right? That is OP plus PR, which we just found, which is 6 over 5i minus 4j. So when you add this, you get 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16, 16 over 5i, and we get 4 minus, I mean, minus 4 from 3 is minus 1g. Correct. So it is almost correct, a way to represent it, right? So that becomes the vector OR, correct? So the position vector OR, which we just found, could also be written as 16 over 5 and minus 1. Is that clear to you? Right. So that is how we find the position vector OR, which divides the vector PQ in the ratio of 2 to 5. Perfect. So this is a very good example, which makes you understand what is a position vector. Position vectors are fixed with tail at the origin. And how do we do a test to related question, right? This is actually a test question, right? So you'll find such questions in your test paper.
So there are a lot of steps involved. You first find the point R on PQ as a scalar multiple, right? 2 over 5 times PQ. Once you get that point, then you do linear combination. So we have learned two concepts here. One is scalar multiplication. And the second was a linear combination. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.